I think I think there can definitely be an alliance between people who identify as left wingers and people who, ident who identify as right wingers, uh, because quite a lot of the important human rights issues that exist, I think I think they're nonpartisan, and I think that the the you know the, the powers that be who who, who are against. Uh, uh, human rights, they try to use divide and conquer quite commonly. So they'll try to pit the uh, left wingers against the right wingers, so they're too busy fighting each other, and then they can't actually e unite in favor of policies that benefit them both. So I, th I think it's, uh, I think one thing that sort of gives me hope on this is, um, at least in the U.S., there is a, uh, there's a fairly significant um, loose alliance developing um, between you know um, the people who you know say supported uh, Bernie Sanders um, versus uh, at least a subset of the people who supported Donald Trump, not because the Sanders supporters like Trump, but uh, but because um, a lot of the people who voted for either Sanders or Trump actually turned out they had fairly com fairly a good reasons in common why they voted that way, and they just ended up going with uh, different tactics. Personally, I hate Trump, but. Uh, you know, I, I can understand why some people felt desperate and ended up voting for him. And so I think it is, uh, I, I think it's useful that, uh, that there's sort of an, an, a loose alliance forming there, trying to, uh, you know, uh, work for mutual benefit rather than always being victims of divide and conquer.